All right. My doctor oh, in Seattle, he said that the scoliosis and kyphosis was too severe. He didn't really know what to do. So he referred me to Dr. Linky. She was clinically most deformed uh, patients I've seen in my career over the course of 20, 23 years. Right. Putting a halo on, on her skull. We basically then start stretching out her trunk and trying to improve her deformity with her awake. And we do this over a several week period. We slowly provide more traction weight to her skull and try and, and in order to stretch out uh, her entire spinal column. I need to get past these two weeks, you know, and focus on the end. I'm excited to go home and start my life. Like, you know, hopefully better, breathe better, because the surgery is supposed to really help me be like kind of talking right now i'm also having trouble catching my breath and but this halo has helped me like stretching out opening up my lung capacity and she unfortunately had a cyst within her spinal cord rupture that caused a meningitis and basically caused her to lose all function of her arms and legs as a baby that left her trunk weak and she started developing a severe scoliosis even as a young baby you got no nurse left behind huh you can catch up. Oh, I can catch up? Yes. All right. We're taking this patient and we're turning her life around. I mean, this is someone who she can't go to school, she can't work. She's promised me she's going to be in college by March. Like, we're, eh, we, we all say we change lives. We're really, really changing her life for the better. And I'm really excited to be a part of it. This is an actual life-size model of, of her spinal column. She has a, quite a severe deformity, that's, that's fairly obvious. And it really becomes even more striking how compromised her cardiopulmonary system is when we look at basically her overall chest height or, or thoracic height. The space for her heart and lungs is basically sitting in this interval, uh, which is maybe four inches, three, four inches. And so that shows how compromised or compressed her chest volume is, and that's the space that her heart and lungs have to work in. Come in here, girlfriend. Hug it out. Thank you. You don't Thank you. You're going to be amazing. I know. Do we have a new trip? I have God on my side. You know, I have Dr. Linky and the team and everyone. Like, just the support of so many people really keeps you going. I was crying as we walked her down to the OR, and I'm not a nurse that cries. I'm, I'm an ICU nurse, I don't cry. Take care of our friends, we'll do our best, all right? Very good, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm super excited. I'm praying that everything goes well and that I'll come out straight, gain a few inches. The only way to correct this type of severe rigid deformity is basically break her spine in the middle separate the spine into two separate limbs and then slowly correct the spine into a new position and then fixing it into that new position with instrumentation. We certainly knew from the very beginning that it was a very risky and dangerous operation. Carefully monitored by neurophysiologic electrical monitoring which we provide during surgery gives us instantaneous feedback of how the spinal cord and nerves are tolerating the surgery. Working closely with the anesthesiologist and our neuromonitoring specialists, we basically have her awake enough to be uh, moving her arms and legs to know that they're functioning. Squeeze my hand. Okay, everything's good. Five, Bring it toes up. Toes up. Good. Yep, no changes. Everything's still there. No, well, coming out about an hour. Oh, hi. So we see before. Mm -hmm. And now we see after. Okay. She'll be a lot taller now. Okay. Um, my guess from here to here, uh, maybe. Oh, oh, yeah, big difference. You'll see what you stand. Big. Our friends pray. Good. That's good. We like the prayers. Thank you. When she was coming out of the ICU and she was really sick and she was ventilated and scared and going through a lot, and it was like having a family member in the bed. And we, as nurses, always put everything into our patients. And for me, I treat everybody like a family member. But for her, it was it was really like I was taking care of my sister. And then yesterday when she stood up for the first time and we were almost looking eye to eye, everybody was in tears because that was just, that was awesome.
right when I woke up, I was just like, so much easier tickets to travel. No, I mean, no, normally people tell us that three to six months a year post op. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever had anyone in 24 years telling me right after surgery that it's so much easier to breathe. It's really good news. Yeah. So. Thank you. Congratulations. Great to see you Thank walking. You. That's great. I'm just How are we doing? You're holding court already, huh? We lost very much this hospital, Dr. Linky, everybody. All staff. All staff. Uh, she said it's my hospital family. She wanted to get some education and, uh, and have normal life. Thank you, Dr. Linky. God bless you. Great. I see her getting a relatively normal life back. I suspect she'll be back at school, find a job, and have all of the things that we all expect to have in life. Are you looking forward to going to rehab? Yes and no. We have these spine surgeons that are world renowned, and now we're obtaining a lot of their patients. It shows that they're instilling their trust in us, and we're just really excited to take on these challenges. She's an amazing young girl. Um, She's got an incredible spirit, and my job for her is to help her gain the independence that she needs to live when she returns to Washington. Wherever she goes, she, she's going to do really well. She's so young, and she works so hard. She's so tough. It just amazes me. The overall, I expect her to gradually improve, to get stronger over time. She's a really, really you know, neat and uh, delightful uh, young lady, and um, I'm just, uh, just honored to be able to take care of, of people like her. It was so hard. Like, I can't even explain it. It was so hard to breathe. I always felt like I was going to, like, tip, tip on one side. I definitely feel much better. I grew a few inches, breathing is better. It was a very awesome experience and I'm very thankful for everyone here, for their care and their love and support. And yeah.